Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill uh, Nicholson. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Bill Nicholson back with another video. And today, man, oh man, we got the Yeezy jacket, at least the rounded jacket, the blue version. Now, before we get in the box, I want to let people know I got myself an extra large, right? You know me, I like to kind of wear things big. Uh, there is a black and a red version coming on the way. That is a 2XL black. I know people are like, oh my God, we already know that's a rounded jacket. Why the heck would you get 2XL for a black version? But black, you already know when people wear black, it's already slimmed down. So it's not going to appear as big as most people think. The red may kind of feel big, but you know, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. But for now, let's get straight into the jacket. So, of course, this was shipped via USPS. Uh, they do work weak. And so when you get these shipments for like the black version or the red jacket, <clears throat> just understand that there's going to be probably shipped either Friday or, or the Saturday. At least that's when you might get it. So just keep that in mind. Now, <laughs> Let's let's get into this jacket because I know a lot of people are very very controversial of it. Now it comes in this kind of sealed bag. So let me just put this right here. Put this box down right here. And there are a couple of things that I want people to know about this jacket in particular because, quite frankly, it's a creative idea. And I think the norm behind a lot of designs are using recycled material. When I talk about designs, I'm talking about designs that are future proofed. So this actually has a benefit for me, especially in the environment where I live. And there's a bunch of snow, there's a bunch of rain. Get into that right now. So that said it done, man, let's pop this thing back. Let's actually pop this open real quick because there's certain things about this jacket that I find that's kind of unique. Now, on the surface, when you're looking at this, right, keep in mind that these are the type of jackets where if you're riding in a car, you're not going to look like it's puffed up like you're some type of bubble girl from the Willy Wonka chocolate factory. You get my point. Uh, because this is able to compress and it will extract as long as there is no weight or anything causing it to, you know, basically compress. So your weight is going to compress this. So if you're sitting down, you'll look normal. But if you're standing up, Again, no air pressure, therefore it's going to expand. So <clears throat> let's kind of talk about this because, and I'm going to put this on there. This is the Yeezy Gap rounded jacket. You can see right there that that is an extra large. And quite frankly, this blue is kind of neutral. It looks like an actual blue, like a true blue. No, no, I don't want to say UNC blue, not, not, not that. It is a true blue hue. It's a, little, it's a little darker than I think the version that they had online. <clears throat> so, keep in mind that this jacket is 100% nylon, but it's a recycled material. I'll repeat that again, it's recycled material. So, it seems like that's what I'm talking about in terms of designs where people are using recycled material. Hence, the <laughs> hence these shoes, the AJ1, I think the knockouts, uh, Billy Eilish. Now, it doesn't come with these laces, so just an FYI, this is Christmas proof. Do not take my ideas. I wear this with an ugly Christmas sweater. I'm just saying. But anyway, that this is algae, right? So this is kind of recycled material as well, but it feels real good. And it's made to last longer. So that seems to be like the norm for designers looking for innovative ways to make or at least preserve things like this, right? So the entire jacket, again, is 100% nylon recycled material. The liner is 100% nylon and you should actually see some type of material tag that's that's right next to me as i started talking about this but the most interesting part about this is what's in the inside and that is polyester filling which basically kind of looks something similar to this now the thing about this is <laughs> i didn't think it came with pockets but there are pockets that are on this i think each side if i'm not mistaken kind of pull this out real quick uh here we go so there, there's one for the, this will be my left, and there's one pocket that's actually for the right, but there's actually a third pocket that many people may not know, and I'm going to actually talk about that right now, because if you look on the inside of the jacket, there is a pocket there. Now, this is ideal for anybody that has a cell phone, 
you kind of want to drop that cell phone in there you can see that it actually does fit now that's the note keep in mind this is the note 8 so you have a lot of space to put in that pocket as well as your um your side pockets as well um <laughs> All I can say is, like, I will be wearing a jacket like this when it rains and snows. Nylon is a good material that'll keep you dry in the event that it is snowing, it's raining. Um, anybody that's wondering, I will have, actually, everybody pretty much has a hoodie. So I'll be wearing a hoodie underneath this. So let me just put this on real quick so people can see what time it is. Um, it also does come with two straps. Actually, not even two straps. It's actually one strap system. Before I put this on, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if you look at the straps on both sides, they're designed to you know, keep it, at least the waist portion, to tighten up the waist. Most people, I, I, you know, I probably don't see anybody really doing that because they want to keep it kind of loose towards the waist, but this is one system. This, this string goes all the way around the actual jacket around your waist uh, for added kind of tightened support, I should say. So let me just put this on real quick. Man, it, it's crazy though, when you feel it, it's not the first time I've seen a rounded jacket because if you think about it, I think in the past, um, I'm trying to remember, I want to say it was like 1930s, early 1930s, like this, this type of, these type of designs are, they're not new, it's not the new under the sun, so, and seeing this, I think a lot of people are seeing this again for the first time, or, you, or actually, you're seeing it again, or you're seeing it for the first time. So for most people, when they see this, it's just like, what the heck is that? So some people are interested in seeing it. Some people are like, nah, B, this is not for me. <laughs> and it's perfectly fine. I me mean, personally, I will be wearing this. Of course, let me put my hoodie up. But I have no problem wearing it. Um, it's soft. It actually adds on a little bit of layer of protection in terms of when it's cold and stuff like that, of course, you got to wear your gloves or whatever suits you. But I actually like this. I'm not going to lie. I like that. I know a lot of people are saying, yeah, you're crazy. You're going to be wearing that. No, because the, <laughs> the idea behind this jacket, again, snow, rain, which it does a lot around here, fall, winter, spring. So for me, this is perfect. I'll keep everything dry. I have to worry about it. Of course, the only thing you really get wet is the hoodie. That's about it. But I'm not coming in a house where... I'm like soaked with rain, wet, all over the floor. Same thing with snow, all over the floor. It basically just slides right off. So just think of it that way. So your boy Bill never said, man, comment below. Let me know what you think of the Yeezy rounded jacket. This is the blue version, extra large for anybody wondering. It is an extra large. Um, again, I'm a fan of this. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, no, nah, I'm not doing it. Not doing it. You, you look like a, a blueberry, a balloon, whatever the heck it is. Cool. <laughs> All I can say is cool because honestly, in life, and I want to say this, in life, it's really about what matters to you, not what other people want you to wear, to feel. You get what I'm saying? Also, another thing about this, I think, and I'm pretty sure, I, I kind of say it's January, either January or December is when I'm supposed to be getting the black version of this. So I'll be doing another video to kind of show you. It's pretty much the same jacket, but it's it's a black, the black version. And people are wondering how dark is that black? Is it like an ashy black? Is it a true black? Because this I thought was like a baby powder blue. But again, this is like a true blue. And you got to keep in mind before I go, you got to keep in mind that stuff like this is going to either pique somebody's interest regardless. It's going to be an eye catcher. Um, and in today's society, I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people, there's nothing wrong with having attention, right? Do I wear this for attention? Eh, sort of, not really. Do I wear it because I feel like I want to wear it? That's exactly why I wear it. Same reason why I wear most of these shoes is the same wear, same reason I'm going to be wearing this jacket. Just want to keep that kind of in, in, in perspective. But I get it. It's going to be an eye catcher. People are going to be either coming up to you asking or just curious, like, what is that? Or some people are already going to know what it is. So it is, it is, it is what it is, but to each his own. Your boy, Maleficent, man, I am out because I got a lot of stuff to deal with. I do have a surprise coming, I want to say, in two weeks, courtesy of Shoe Palace. So look out for that video. It's kind of interesting. It has come has some ties to my roots in terms of my, uh, my lineage. Uh, but I, I'll get to that when, when I get to that. But your boy, Maleficent, man, I am out. 
It is Saturday, the Yeezy jacket, rounded blue version, in the Mount Deficit building, at least in, uh, in my man cave. And I look forward to wearing this, uh, despite what people are going to say. I am out, and you guys, stay blessed.